OK, this is a short tutorial on how to write two perfect answers or model answers to these two rural geography exam questions. So the first exam question uh, you were asked to answer was one where you get a diagram um, about modern factors affecting farming in the developed world. And then you're asked to choose two of these factors. So you've got to choose from two of from the four um, and tell me how the changes that happened with what the two you've chosen are affecting people and the landscape in developed countries. So what's your answer got to have in it? Well, it's got to have six points. It's got to make sure that the effects deal with both people and landscape effects. And if you miss out one of them, you're not going to get full marks. And it must in somewhere in the answer refer to a developed country. Otherwise, you're not going to get full marks. So let's have a look at how we could write up our first one. And let's say we chose new technology. So New technologies like tomato harvesters in California allow large amounts of tomatoes to be harvested quickly which results in more profit for the farmer. There's your first mark. However, another effect of this is that less workers are needed to harvest and therefore Rural unemployment rises. And people leave for the big cities. In this case, that might be somewhere like San Francisco or, or Los Angeles, but we don't need to put that in. We've made our point. Okay. Final effect of large machines is that they can cost a lot of money, okay. which results in the farmer getting into debt. And if he cannot repay these loans, he may go bankrupt. Gee. We think about the tomato machine that cost three hundred thousand pounds, and that farmer hadn't uh, actually made money from it. If somebody else had come along and was selling tomatoes cheaper, and he hadn't been to sell his tomatoes, then uh, he would have gone bankrupt. So we've quite quickly got three marks here. Okay, all from one idea of a new technology being, in this case, a tomato harvesting machine. But each point you will see is different. The first point deals with harvesting quickly so more profits. The second point means that less workers are needed, but that's a negative because they become means more unemployment and these people then move away. And the final one is to do with borrowing the money to get the big machines, which results in debt. Okay. What we can then do is answer a second point. So we would choose a second one from this list. In this case I've picked GM crops. And you'll see Second development I've chosen is GM crops. Now, why is it quite handy to write that? Because it shows you've read the question. I've got my first one, my new technologies, and here's my second point. And then we've got three very clear points made, all on new sentences. So once again, you're making it clear for the market to see that here's my first idea. GM crops grow larger. Therefore, there's more crop and they make more profit. They can be designed to stop pests eating them. So less pesticides get used, which is good for the environment. And finally, um, they can be drought resistant, which means less water is used, which is saves uh, on the precious water in California. Now, what's great about this answer? Well, I've mentioned California twice in this answer, both here and here. So I'm clearly talking about a developed world country. I have bought in the idea of the landscape in this second point on GM crops because I'm saving the environment. So I've made sure I've done people in the landscape. Most of my points are to do with people, but that's fine as long as I've got one point in the landscape. What I might want to do is for either of these two, I might want to add one additional point. So I've got seven overall, guaranteeing I get the six marks. Now let's have a look at the second question.
question. Okay, in this question, uh, we've got explain. So we're actually having to just up level the point and the way we make a point. And I'll show you how to do that in a second. And we've got to explain the impact of a change. So what I've actually done here is I've identified four changes that were visible in the diagram you were shown. So the diagram was basically offering you a clue. It would suggest a change for you to write about. Okay. All you've then got to do is explain the impact of that change. Okay. So, uh, and, and of course, just as before, your answer must reference something to do with people and how they're affected by the change and the environment. Now, actually, many of the points you might make might have been made in your first answer, and that is not a problem. What must happen, however, in this second answer is you must be explaining, and that's where the difference between the first question and the second question lay. Okay, so fields have become larger. Okay, so what's the impact of fields becoming larger? Well, what we want to say is this means that hedgerows have been torn down which results in a loss of animal habitat. And there's your point. So the loss of animal habitat at the very end of that sentence is where you get the mark. So we've torn these old hedgerows down between the, the smaller fields to create these bigger fields. That's fine, we've now got a bigger field, but we've now lost that animal habitat. So increased reliance on big machines, that's fine. These machines, use fossil fuels, therefore a farm now produces far more greenhouse gas emissions. Increasing problems related to climate change. So we've bought farming and the changes that have happened in farming uh, as a climate change issue. Okay, so we've ex explored that as an issue and explain the impact of that. So the increased use of chemicals, okay, in farming. These chemicals wash off the crops when it rains and pollute local river systems, killing animal life. Okay, so there's another impact. What we've got to do is a fourth change. So a fourth change is that farmers have diversified. That's where they move into other businesses. By opening up farm shops, they increase profits and are less reliant on money they make from farming can be unreliable. Okay, and there is your model answer. Now, once again, you might want to pick up a fifth change just to guarantee you get the four marks that this question was worth. Uh, and it's always one of those things that you might not want to do it during a test, but if you get 10 minutes at the end to go back through each question and just add an additional point, uh, always making sure you know that if a marker doesn't see you having fully described a point or accurately explained it, that they're still going to give you credit for it. Okay, but uh, that is how I'd write an answer, and actually, that's the kind of answers uh, many of you wrote in this assessment.